What's up guys, Xtara Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be opening the marquee matchup reward, showing you the team to them only quickly. Because let's be fair, the marquee matchups today are awful. And then opening my foot champ reward, I only finished gold 3, well I say finished, I stopped early. I think I was like 14 and 4 after 12 and over, as you can tell by the sound of my voice. I've been over the last few days and trying to play FIFA while ill, especially this FIFA, just doesn't go well and I just didn't have the effort for it. But as we go into the marquee matchups first, like as I said earlier, this just isn't worth it. The packs are horrendous. You've got to use a whole team of goals here. All of these players will have loyalty. Um, as you can see, I've played either first owner or I've played 10 games. People always say that their chem's not enough and that's because my uh, players usually all have loyalty on them. So yeah, just loads of Prem players, a couple of Germans there, lucky enough to get a German link in there. But as long as they're the same nation, you'll easily get the chem for this and you get an Electrum players pack. I'm not sure why they've decided to put the marquee matchups to so bad and just literally let nobody make coins off them. This one you need Eredivisie players and a couple of Holland. So I had two players there that were in my club. Um, another two Eredivisie players there that were just out of my club and then just used League One, uh, League Two players, sorry, and a couple of Irishmen there, a few Irishmen to get the strong links needed. But again, um, you could go like all English down this side and then go something like um, League uh, One or actually that's the best way to do it probably. You could always get a centre back in there from Eredivisie. But because this guy's a left winger, I'm guessing he's not going for anything. Nah, 850. Hardly anything. You can get like a centre back or a left back in there to get the extra chem points if needed. And we get a silver players pack for that, which isn't a bad pack, but again, it's a silver pack. Like, who wants a silver pack in a marquee matchups? Next one is Nice and Marseille. I used Jermaine at striker to get the left mid and right mid on four chem and him with six. And then again, just use players from the German leagues, uh, German 2 and German 3 mix of just whatever players I had in the club. And then just three rares from there. I'm not going to show you the players' names because you can literally use anybody from like any of these leagues. You don't need to have certain players' names, you can just go and search. And you get a gold pack for that. And the last one is Montreal against Toronto. Again, M... Um, I use gold players here, you don't have to use gold, I just ran out of bronze players in my club and for the sake of the video and getting it up quick, I couldn't be bothered to go and open bronze packs or go and buy some. I'm ch like If you're smart enough, you've done bronze pack method by now and you've got loads of bronzes in the club, so like these could be English League 2 players, these could be English League 1 players, just bronzes and it's as simple and cheap as that. I did use 4 MLS players and American players as well. But you only need two MLS players, so hardly any of them are going to go up in price. I'm sure if I search here, yeah, see 200 by now. There's just no reason for them to go up. And you get silver players pack for completing that. And I'm pretty sure you only get a gold players pack for completing all. Not even a 25k pack this week. Yeah, gold players pack. Like, these marquee matchups, whether you needed gold players or not, which you do on some of them, they're just not worth it in my eyes. Like, the packs back are just horrendous. You're not really going to make any money from them, even if the uh, coins are in the club. So I'm not going to show you my team. That's what I play in game quickly. If you did want to look at my team and tactics, I uploaded my foot uh, rival division reward sorry, this morning. And I'll leave a link in the description to that. Or I'm sure it's come up in my recommended videos. And yeah, I uploaded that this morning. So as I go and claim foot champs reward, I'm not sure what I get for gold free. Uh, what do I get? So the two player picks, two mega packs and a 50k pack with 30k coins. That's not bad actually. That's like nearly as good as my foot, uh, Division 1, uh, Division 2, sorry, rival rewards were. So one of three foot champions players. I'm expecting nothing from this. I got elite last week and got nothing. So an 81, an 80 and an 82 there, just as I expected. Absolutely nothing. Fulham, I mean, it's Premiership. I'll go in just because he's Prem. He's never going to play, but a Prem player is more likely to be useful for an SBC. And the next one, 81, 81 and 78. Absolutely nothing again. I'm, I'm not impressed with these player picks. Like, they're just not good. You shouldn't be able to get below 81s. No one wants a below 81. And, like, you can get duplicates as well. These mean nothing to me. I'm never going to use them. Pretty much anybody is not going to use these cards. 
and it's just a way so you can get all the way up to gold one which isn't easy on this game for most people and you can get them like it's just not worth it in my eyes but if we go into the main packs um i'm just gonna skip the silver players pack like even if there's a player worth a lot in there like no one cares because he's silver so no one's going to care for the video, sorry. I'll have a look afterwards through the club and see if there's any players in there that have sold. Fulham right back there will probably sell. But again, doesn't mean anything to me. Another silver pack that I'm just going to skip. So yeah, as I said, I'll leave a link in the comments below, um, in the description below to a video that I've done this morning. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter in there, which is the best place to get a hold of me. A few people tweet me. I always reply. Um, people message me. Um, the only reason I wouldn't reply is because I'm at work or something, so don't have time to. I need to just turn the volume down on my TV. We get a foot healing card in there. I'm not sure if they're still selling or not. They, I was meant to discard them, but sent them into the uh, transfer pile for some reason. So we get a gold players pack here. I'm not expecting anything. No walkout. Well, we get a board. Nope, we don't get a board. I don't know what I'm on about. My head's gone. So ill. Start, uh, waking up early. Well, playing like 15 games last night of FIFA for the rival rewards. To then wake up early at like 8 to then upload a video. To then go to work and then come back and do a video straight away is not good. Just shouldn't be happening. But there you go. That's life for you. Sergi Dander there. Just... Skip him, nobody good again. So they were the marquee matchup rewards. As you can see, packed absolutely no one. Just absolutely not worth it this week, unfortunately. But here are the foot champ rewards. So two mega packs and a 50k pack. My luck's been on and off recently. I've either packed something huge or something terrible. There's been nothing in the middle so far. So we don't get bored there, so I'm just going to skip it. French centre back. Langlet maybe as an 82 would be okay, I suppose. I don't know who else it could be. Um, he's a duplicate, so it probably is. Oh, that's Matthew, unfortunately. PSG badge might sell, and we'll discard that pitch. I played a rivals game last night against somebody that was still somehow using a shadow pitch. How they're still allowed in the game is beyond me. You can literally see none of the pitch when you get to the middle. So two mega packs there without a board. I opened the mega packs for the um, uh, who do I complete Hazard SBC and packed to Sandro and a Chiellini in a mega pack there. And here, can't even get a board. Let alone, oh, 75 to 80 rated walkout. Yeah, because I want that. Because that's useful to me. I suppose I get Prem players in there. I'll go Monreal just because he's Spanish as well. So he gets a few decent links for SBCs. Store them in the club. Stindl, Brozovic, Zuma. That can go down there and get discarded for 56 coins. And the last 50k pack. I haven't packed anything good from a 50k pack in ages. Of course I don't get a walkout. Do I get boards? Well, I get bored. Could it be like Fabinho or somebody? Who is that? I don't. Savage. Awful card. 83, 58 pace, 54 passing. Not a usable card. It'll be good for SBCs, but that's about it. Oh, people are asking me why I'm not saving these for tomorrow for screen cards. If you've got packs, 100% save them for screen cards that are supposed to be out tomorrow. I'm just doing it for a video. And when screamer cards come out tomorrow, whether there's something new that I can do for an SBC... Um, which I'm hoping there will be, or whether it's two player packs. Either way, I'll have a video up tomorrow ready for the new Screamer cards in packs. But yeah, if you've got packs ready for marquee matchups, which I wouldn't do, or for rivals or foot champs, I'd 100% save them for tomorrow with Screamer cards out. But I really appreciate you guys being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that'd be very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching.